Hi, and welcome to day three of our goal setting series. I'm glad you're still here with me. It shows that while others think they should unsubscribe and run away from goal setting, you are still here because you know what this is all about. This is life changing guys, stick with me. Over the last two days we've looked at how you need to set your goals from the end to the beginning so your subconscious knows exactly where you're going and starts moving you in that direction. We also talked about the need to supersize your goals because we have an imagination that has put skyscrapers in the air, that has built aircraft, submarines, you know, rifles and all of that. So we have a mind that is powerful enough to capture anything we want. And I said, don't use your God-given mind, your fine mind, to attract small things. Go for the big dreams, okay? Now, today I'd like us to talk about the four-dimensional aspect of goal setting. Now, there's a reason for this. Most people set their goals in a lopsided manner. Have you ever seen a, a millionaire that killed himself because he was sad? Have you seen a journalist that married seven times? Have you seen a father that lacked money? He was a good father, but had no money. You know, people live through all, all kinds of imbalances in life. I was a victim of that too. You know, I always strove to have one thing at the detriment of another until I found the secret of four-dimensional goal setting, guys. And here is the deal. There must be a physical aspect to your goal setting. This involves the money you must have in your pocket, the house you live in, the car you drive, all the physical things that surround you. You need to have those. Now, I've had a few people say, you know what, Tyrone, I, I don't really need money. I just want to be happy. Now, that is nonsense because you cannot be happy without money. You, you, can, you can argue all you want. You know, money is evil and all that. You can argue all you want. But then you spend 12 hours of a day going to work to get money. Why, why, why would you do that? You do that because money is a centrifugal part of your existence. So your goal setting must have the material aspects embedded into it. The more money, the better. Spiritual. You need a spiritual aspect to your goal setting. You need a set of beliefs or something that you believe in. Okay? You need values. You need to have a value system. And also you need character. Those are the spiritual aspects. And then for other people that have, you know, uh, you know that are faith-based people, you need to have a faith. But it's not necessary that everybody have a faith. But those that have a faith also have to set goals relating to their faith. Now, the third aspect is what I call, you know, the societal dimension. You need to work your relationships with other people and also work your relationships as it pertains to charity and charitable giving. The fourth aspect is self and family. There is love and care that must be built into any goals that you have. There is health and fitness for yourself and your family. There is happiness and joy. And then finally, there's self-esteem. Now, let's not get all these categories mixed up, guys. There are four major categories that must be in your goals. The physical aspects that concerns money, house, car, and all those other things. The spiritual one that concerns beliefs, values, and character. The societal one that has to deal with relationships and charity. And the self and family one that deals with love and care, health and fitness, happiness, and self-esteem. So as you set your goals today, guys, make sure your goals are four-dimensional, that your goals are rounded. We don't want a millionaire that kills himself out of sadness. We don't want you to be a good father that has no money to send them to the right schools. We don't want you to, have, uh, to be a charitable worker that depends on charity also to help charitable people. We want a charity worker that has money in their pocket. So go out there, guys, set your goals, make sure they have all these dimensions so that you can be the rounded person that you are meant to be. You will be a rich person that is influential, that has knowledge and wisdom, cares about other people, and is loved and cared for also by their families. So go out and set those goals, guys, and make them four-dimensional. I'll see you tomorrow.